Okay, hi guys, we're going to uh, look at dividing by slightly bigger numbers like 11 and 12. So say we've got a number like 946. And we want to divide that by 11. So we can use our standard form like this and put in 11 there. Now straight away you'll notice a small problem. 11 does not fit into 9. But we can think of it as 94 tens. So, Aisha, what's the closest multiple of 11 that I can fit into 94? I think it might be 88. It's 88, isn't it? So we can go, it'll, we know straight away that 11 times 8 is 88. So we can put our 8 up here. Now, the next thing we need to do is figure out what we're going to do with our remainder because clearly there's some left over. Now there's going to be six left over because if you have 94 and you take away 88 you're left with... You're left with... six? Six. So we put six there and now here's an easy bit 66 divided by 11 is... Six. Six. So yeah. Our answer is 86. 946 divided by 11 is 86. We've broken it into small chunks. We've treated 94 as 94 tens, divided that by 11 first, found a remainder, and then divided that by 11. So it works the same way for 11s and 12s. We can do big numbers or small numbers and sometimes we can get remainders too. Now with 11s and 12s, the remainder can be more than 10, which makes things a wee bit interesting later on. Okay, are you ready to try a bit of a tricky one? Yeah, I think I am. Okay, sounds like fun. Well, say we'll get into, oh, I don't know, maybe the thousands this time. Maybe even a bit more. Uh, let's see. So we've got oh, 28,641. It's quite a big number, but we can still divide it by 11. Now, sometimes when you're dividing by 11, you might even get to the point where it goes into the third number, but we, I don't think we'll have to on this time. So we've got 11, we're going to divide it by 11. Now what's the closest number, we can't, obviously can't fit it into the 2, but we can fit it into 28 how many times? The closest you can get is 22, so that would be 2. Mm -hmm. And then you would have a remainder of um, 6. 6, yes. So 28 is what we started with. We're going to take away 22 and we get 6. So that's what our remainder is going to be. So this remainder here goes up here. Okay. Now this one's pretty easy. We've done this one before too. So 66 divided by 11 is 6. six. And there's no remainder on this one. Nice and easy. But we're across to this one. Now, we can't fit 11 into 4, obviously, um, but we can fit it into 41. How many times can we fit it into 41? The closest you can get is 33, mm -hmm. so you would put a 3 up the top and you would have a uh, uh, you would have a remainder of 31. We can do the same thing again, yeah. can't we? We can say 41 take away 33 to get our remainder. Now when we're putting our 3 up the top though, we have to put it not here though, do we? We put it here. So we put a 0 in between, yeah. and then we put a 3 at the end. And we are going to have a remainder. Mm. And that remainder is of... Good girl, that's right. Our remainder is 8. We can actually figure out how to turn that into a decimal number, but that's going to be another whole lesson we'll do a different time.
Right then, shall we try something in the 12s? Yeah. Okay, we've got a new number. This time it's 1,000. You can say it. 1,923. Good, and we're going to divide it by 12. Now, we can see straight away that 12 is not going to fit into 1. In fact, 12 can never fit into any single digit in here. So we're always going to be looking at 2. Uh, same as 11, same as 10. In this case, 12 can fit into 19 how many times? Once. Only once. Now you could put a zero there. We don't really need to. We can remember that there's nothing there. So we're going to need a remainder now, aren't we? Because 12 fits into 19, but not neatly. There's a bit left over. How many are left seven. over? Seven are left over. So I'll put the seven in a different colour there. Now we've got something quite good here, haven't we? Yeah. 12 goes into 72 a fairly neat amount of times. Is that 6? I think it might be 6, isn't it? 6 yeah. times 12 is 72. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds about right. Because we learnt that today in the 6 times mm -hmm. 2. So we can go 6. Is there anything left over? No. There isn't. So we can say 12 fits into 3 no times for the moment, so but there's going to be a remainder of 3. three. And there we have it. That's a very tidy number. It's quite neat, isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, today we're going to look at fitting 11 into bigger numbers. And you'll notice this one's got a lot of zeros in it. And that presents us with a problem because we can't fit it into this one or this one or this one. So we're going to go to a three-digit number to get our 11 into. So for example, what would be a multiple of 11 that can fit into 100? 99. 99. 99, good. So we know that 11 times 9 is 99, so we can put our 9 there. Now, if we take uh, 99 away from 100, we're left with 1. one. one. That's our remainder, and that pops there. Okay, so we can fit 11 into 13, which is actually 13 tens. How many times can we fit 11 into 13? One. One. One, one time. Remainder of 2. With a remainder of 2, quite right. Now we've got a lovely, neat number that we can fit into there, because 11 goes into 22, exactly. Two times. So, when we divide 10,032 by 11, we get 912. Nice and easy? Yep. yep. yep.